Nolajet here at Pla St. Charles. Everywhere else in the country, they would call it Play St. Charles, but we're in New Orleans. Yeah. Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are in the New Orleans Central Business District at Place St. Charles to explore the Place St. Charles Food Court, which is one of our secret locations New Orleans locals sometimes don't even know about, and not many tourists have ever heard of this location. Place St. Charles is located at 201 St. Charles Avenue, which is right next to the French Quarter. This secret New Orleans food is mainly enjoyed by people that work in or near this building, and you do get a nice selection of different types of food here, or at least you did before the pandemic situation. This food court is the location of one of the best meat and three restaurants that is popular for their delicious fast plate lunch options, and a meat and three plate lunch is always a great meal to me. So let's get started with our restaurant review video as you eat with me on our travel vlog, and go ahead and head on inside here. So as we come on in, you can go ahead and see that they have quite a lobby here. And there are multiple businesses inside of here, but we're mainly interested in the food court today. So there's also a Hampton Inn, and other than the people staying in the Hampton Inn, I don't know if any other tourist would ever venture in here, other than maybe if they were doing business here and needed to use the Chase Bank or some other service in here. For the most part, I don't think I've ever seen a tourist in here, and I rarely get here myself. The food court is only open for lunch, and it is a challenging situation during normal times to get down here. So I've only been here a very few times to enjoy the food here, but it's always been great. So we have our list of places that are supposed to be here. I'm not sure what all is open today. We have a Mediterranean place, a Korean place, a Nicaraguan place, a Mexican place, uh, sandwiches and salads, Vietnamese, hot plate lunches, and a garden salad place. So that's uh, my favorite place right there on the right, Steve's, is the plate lunch place with meat and three. Well, really, it's meat and two, but always add another one to get a meat and three out of it. That's my spot I love. But we're gonna walk around and see what else is going on in here. It is very deserted. This place is usually buzzing with activity during a weekday lunch. There's usually lines of people waiting to get their food. All of these chairs and tables are usually quite crowded. So the pandemic has certainly taken a toll in this area. I can't believe how deserted it is in here. This is definitely kind of sad to see it so devoid of life. I'm used to so many people being in here and this is definitely not a whole lot of people. So we have a Mexican place back here, the purple cactus. I was thinking about maybe getting a taco here later, but we'll see what happens. I'm not sure what I'm gonna decide to do other than I'm definitely gonna get some meat and three over at Steve's. So we'll see what all else is open. They do have a really nice large menu here though, so that is a good thing to know about. And then some few people started showing up to get in line here at Rick's Grill, which I've also heard that's a pretty darn good place too. Never eaten there yet. Now here we are looking across from where we came up initially. And then here's another place that looks open. We have the Vintage Garden Kitchen, that's open. And then we're looking down into the lobby again there. And here's a coffee shop that is downstairs that's also open. That's a good sign. Let me just kind of pan through and see how everything is on these two levels. And there's also an outdoor area. So they have a huge amount of tables out here. This is a very pleasant spot in nice weather. And only one person was seated out there eating. There's usually lots of people. Here we are looking down into the French Quarter across Canal Street there in the old Cobbs, it was a German restaurant that sadly closed. It is sitting vacant. If anybody wants to open a German restaurant in New Orleans, I would love it if somebody would reopen Cobbs. St. Charles Noodle is closed. And then so is Dona's Pizza. So I'm not sure if these are closed permanently or just temporarily closed. Uh, wow, the last time I was here in January 2020, this place was crowded. All right, we're going to go to Steve's Diner. Look at all this delicious food. It is a great selection of different meats and vegetables. 
So I get to select a meat and two vegetables, but I always add on a third vegetable like I told you before because I like my meat and three. The menu here changes every day of the week, so you have a different selection of specials to choose from every day. And the last time I was here, I got this fantastic brisket over brown rice. Ooh, it was so good. And that was back in January of 2020, and this place was way crowded back then. <laughs> it's meatloaf day, yeah. So just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and I work for TEP, so I really would appreciate it if you would check out my Patreon program in the comments below. Thanks so much. Ooh, so good. Really nice flavors. A little smothered cabbage. Green beans, they uh, also had some uh, spinach all gratin that I didn't see till after I already ordered. I wish I'd have gotten that too. Sweet potatoes. Ooh, really good. Mm. really juicy. It's too big of a bite. like dessert to me. Mm. Very nice green beans.
this is really good. So destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and refer this video to any of your contacts that would enjoy it. Thanks so much. So I cleaned my plate, not all the way, but as much as I could eat. I'm pretty full now. It's always fantastic. But now I'm going to go over here to Baba Ganooj Cafe to get some to-go food. So I'm in the mood for a little Middle Eastern, I think. I'll have to come back and sample the taco later. So I got a little chicken shawarma, some flavel, and some hummus with nice bread. Mmm. Ho, ho, ho. So, back home. Had to get a little of this uh, spice to add to my special Middle Eastern treat. Ho, ho, ho. Chicken shawarma. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Well, waffle. Mmm. Mmm. It's good waffle. It's very chewy. Okay, I got the hummus here. Mmm. It's good stuff. More of this chicken. Mm. So just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Destroy that subscribe button. Please refer this video to any of your contacts that would enjoy it. And if you could remember that I do work for tips, I really would appreciate you checking out my Patreon program link in the description below. And thanks so much to everybody at Place St. Charles Food Court for so much good food over the years, and especially to Steve's Diner for having some of the best meat and three options in the entire New Orleans area. And definitely Give these restaurants some love and help them out if you can, as they really don't get as much attention as all the other restaurants. But all of our restaurants do need help these days, so do what you can to support our local music and our local food and our local bars. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.